Uh, good morning. Nice day here at the club. I uh, got a little project going on today that we're going to start it right here and uh, started with cutting down a tree right there, kind of just about like that one there. And the reason, actually a couple reasons we need to do this um, to get that tree out of there is the first reason is we're putting some conduit to go out to the shed and I wanted to get that done while the weather's so darn nice. So we're gonna do that today, gonna to get this tree out and take some up some of the bricks here and then go get a trencher to trench a ditch out to the shed so we can put some conduit in there and hook up the electricity out there so we don't have to uh, have the extension cord uh, uh, laid out all the time. And a lot of this is gonna get taken up anyway with some uh, patio restoration work that's hopefully going to be happening uh, uh, later in the spring or summer so it's not a big deal actually but uh, this was going to have to go anyway plus it was getting a little bit too big anyway all right so we'll keep you posted okay we're going to give you a little update on the project here so we went ahead and dug out here dug down about 30 inches I guess it is and uh, I think what I was telling you earlier that we were going to just pick up some of these bricks, but I had a better idea. And for the, those of you that aren't familiar with underground utility construction techniques, you'll think I'm, I've probably lost my mind. But I decided that I'd try to drive a pipe underneath the walk and then pull a piece of conduit back through it. So we dug down on this side about the same depth as the other place and dug out a little bit and I went to the hardware store and I got uh, about 10 or excuse me about four lengths of 30 inch half inch pipe and got down the hole there and uh, put my level on it and kind of eyeballed it over to there and measured about where I thought it was going to come out in terms of depth and started driving on them and putting one 30 inch piece on after another and after the fourth one we're going to go over here and show you right down there is where it came out right at the bottom of the hole so what we'll do now is we're going to put a cable through there and pull a uh, uh, a coupler through there back and it should make a hole big enough to uh, snake some conduit through there so we'll uh, update you on that one we did have a little bit of a casualty over here with the uh, cable TV coax so they're coming tomorrow to fix that the knuckleheads only put it under about four inches and as soon as I put my shovel down boom took the internet out we don't have cable TV we have got a satellite so and we're okay there, but uh, and we've got uh, 4G service from Verizon, so we still got internet. But they're coming tomorrow to fix that. Okay, a little update here on the uh, underground utility project. I think with the last time we left, uh, we were showing how we'd uh, gotten through here. So I was able to pull something through there this morning, put the conduit in, and I uh, had a little bit of a problem with my pickup because I put it out there to pull on it and I got a little bit stuck. But I think it'll all work because the landscape guy's coming tomorrow to do some work over there anyway. So what we're going to do now is we're going to, uh, we've got a trencher and we're going to uh, trench out to the shed there. And you can see over here we're already done. Got the conduit uh, through here and it came up right there in that one inch conduit piece that'll go in the uh, uh, into this inside of the garage and we'll hook it in the electrical box in there and got this pretty well all cleaned up got the little stump out of there so we're ready for the next phase
Okay, girlfriends, this is a little update uh, from 22 Dogwood. Candy, you might think I'm just around the corner if you listen to the music here. Uh, this is my favorite radio station, WDRM, Huntsville. Um, okay, so Miss Kimmy, this is what I've been doing today. And it probably is a good thing I was doing it while you were gone uh, because girls just don't understand. Um, what we're doing here is this is the electrical coming from the shed. And I'm going to go down here and try to point out some things. Not that you're interested, but this is the electrical coming in right here. This is the uh, coax cable for the TV out in the shed. And this is the data cable that will go out to the shed. And those I snaked up the wall up there. And all the excess is strung up there. And it's going to go down the wall that way, down the edge into the basement and hooked up to the internet and the uh, set-top box cable. This little thing right here is the electrical and the next step is going to be to hook that in there and put a breaker up there. Um, we'll get some sheetrock and cover this up and you'll never know the difference. Anyway, uh, that's kind of the latest so I'll give you another little uh, tidbit later on. You all behave. Bye-bye.